Welcome back to another slow fashion video. I hope you're all well. Thought I would give you an update today on how my travel capsule is doing. Because let me tell you, I made some mistakes. And there's nothing like making a wardrobe mistake when you have to live with it for three months. So here we are. If you like this kind of video that practices creativity instead of consumption, slow fashion, travel, capsules, all that fun stuff, hit subscribe below. You can also find me on IG and you can find me at my live Shop Your Closet events, which are uh, always a hoot these days because I have such a limited closet. So I hope to see you at the next one. Okay, let's jump on into these mistakes. So far, I have to say, I am really pleased with my capsule. I can't say that I have been stuck every day. I feel really good about what I brought. I've been feeling very stylish when we go out, but I definitely made some key mistakes. Number one is I underestimated my love of sweaters during the transition season. I think because I was going to a warmer climate, I automatically assumed that I would want to wear more of of my warmer climate formulas, so jeans and a button-up shirt. And if I were still in Canada at around 17, 18 degrees, I would likely still be wearing my big chunky sweaters. So I misinterpreted which outfit formula I would be wearing more during this time of year, and I could have definitely done with at least one big chunky sweater. I've been totally fine layering. I actually brought my icebreaker merino long sleeve tee at the last minute and I'm really glad I did because I've been layering it underneath my two mid-weight sweaters which has been really helpful and of course I've been layering all kinds of things and it's fine but I really could have used nice just one like nice little mm, cozy maybe a little turtleneck or a mock neck you know maybe it's more of an emotional thing too I don't know oh my gosh this next one <laughs> I'm really missing my fun and somewhat frivolous items. I debated packing my red button-up shirt. It's like this beautiful poppy red, which also happens to be the color of the season. I don't know why, like I should have seen this coming. Anyway, really, really missing those fun, somewhat nonsensical items that might not have necessarily fit with everything I have, but would have been just fun to wear, especially because we're here for an extended period of time. I think it's just nice to kind of liven up my closet with either something a little bit frivolous, like my platform sandals. I'm really missing those. I don't know why I wouldn't even be wearing them at this time. I just think I saw a lot of really great fashion week street style looks with them. And I love how they're kind of like 70s chic and they really add a cool edge to every outfit. I would not discount how much a fun pop of color or an item that feels a little bit just frivolous, how much it actually can add to your closet. The way I've been kind of working around this is by really, really making my accessories work for me. And I didn't bring that much jewelry with me. However, really like making my watches work for me, you know, adding different watches. I brought two. So changing those up, using my scarves a lot, sunglasses, hats. I didn't really bring a lot of these accessories, like only two of each, two different sunnies, two different belts. Swapping those out every day has been a game changer and has really helped make things feel fresh. The other way I've gotten around this is by wearing my pajamas. Here is my fancy pajama, which I've never owned fancy pajamas before. I'm not a fancy person. So these are actually also secondhand, really beautiful, 100% silk. And I've been wearing this to inject a little bit of print, a little bit of pizzazz. It's worked out great. 
My final mistake was that I didn't really think hard about the proportions that I was bringing with me. So I was bringing my wide leg pants and I did have a pair of wide leg trousers on my shopping list. Was thinking I would probably buy a couple of pieces while I'm here. And one of the first items that I did find was this pair of gorgeous black wide leg, really lightweight trousers. But the only other third layers that I brought are relatively long. And when I wear volume and something a little bit bigger on the bottom, I like to juxtapose it and add a bit of tension with something more fitted or cropped and boxy on top. So I really wish I had had more foresight in how I would play with proportions. The way that I get around this <laughs> lack of cute short proportions is by simply keeping my shirts tucked and worn with my wide leg pants or with the trousers. I'll knot the shirt that I'm wearing or I'll wear like my one little kind of cropped, more boxy sweater. And this looks really nice with the wide legs and the bigger volume on the bottom half. I also was a little sneaky and bought this second hand. So it's this really great cardigan, kind of like a jacket actually. Um, I featured it in my secondhand shopping video along with some of the other little goodies that I found. But I like this because it's got that boxy cut. I was actually looking for a blazer like this, but but I feel like this is a little bit more malleable, better for layering, better for this kind of climate as well. So that is it and what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this little video. I just thought it would be helpful if you are looking to build a capsule yourself in the near future. Capsule closets are a really, really good way to learn how to do more style with less. Definitely, at least in my case, I'm still learning. <laughs> I hope you found this video helpful and these mistakes helpful. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you in the next slow fashion video. Ciao.